We got another HGA order in today. Let's take a look at some of the good results and some of the bad results too. Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show off our most recent HGA submission. We got the cards back and it's always exciting to get a new order back, see what we got. It's exciting to just get some cards back in general as I have quite a few orders out with PSA and I have a couple of orders out with HGA as well. So I wanted to give you an update on HGA's backlog uh, as that has been a, a main point of uh, concern for many people who have their cards out uh, with HGA. They uh, are concerned about how long is it gonna take to get my cards back and so, the CEO did come out with an update and he said they're about 47 to 55 business days behind schedule. Most people probably sent their cards in at 60 business days, the 60 day service timeline. So it sounds to me like it's gonna take about twice as long as you would have thought it would, it would take. And I can see that that is very frustrating. Uh, when I looked at the calendar, I never really paid attention. I just kind of sent my cards out and I'd get them back when I get them back. But I looked at the timeline and I sent in an order that was received on November 9th and I counted the business days and it was about maybe 55, 57 business days at this point. So under normal circumstances, I would be expecting my cards back anytime soon. But unfortunately, because they're backlogged, I'm going to probably have to wait another three months. So I, I definitely get how frustrating that is. I, I really didn't put it in perspective until I looked at a calendar and realized I'm gonna have to wait three more months for the, for this order. So it, it is disappointing and I'm really hoping that HGA does catch up and it looks like they're, they've taken some steps to do that. I did a video about uh, what they could do to, to catch up and that was actually inspired by someone in the, in the Facebook group, in the HGA Facebook group. So it looks like they've taken some steps, try to correct the situation. Maybe they read that Facebook post and and incorporated some of that into their strategy. So I'm really hoping they get cut up soon, but we did get this order. This was sent at one of their express levels. It was a $45 per card to grade these cards. And I believe it probably took maybe three weeks to get them back. I honestly didn't track it on the calendar, but obviously we paid more, so we got them back faster. So I wanted to get into some of those grades, but um, yeah, if you are new here, uh, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I will be posting videos more often, especially in the second half of this basketball season. I really enjoy watching basketball, collecting basketball cards, uh, especially modern, ultra modern basketball cards. I know a lot of people have kind of given up on that market, um, but I still enjoy watching the games, collecting the cards and trying to make plays here and there. So I think it's fun to do and, and I definitely want to do some more videos on that. Uh, also, you know, tap that notification button so you will be notified when a new video comes out. And hopefully that's more often than they have been coming out lately. So I'm really shooting for that. Also, we did cross that 300 subscriber threshold. So that happened in between my last video and this video. So looks like I'm going to do a giveaway and I wanted to put it out there. And I know most many people don't comment uh, on this sort of thing, but if you would comment, that would be helpful. Uh, I was planning to give away a Hoops Blaster box, and it doesn't seem like I'm going to find one at Target, but I'll just buy one online or whatever. But uh, also Tops, Tops 2022 just recently released. So I was thinking maybe to give away a Tops Blaster box. So I re it's really going to depend on the feedback I get. If, if only one person comments and says they want a Hoops Blaster box, then that's what it'll be. Uh, likewise, <clears throat> if a baseball fan comments and they want a baseball blaster box, then that's what the giveaway is going to be. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I was pretty excited to finally cross that 300 subscriber threshold. So thank you again for that. Let's go ahead and get into the order. Okay, let's take a look at some of these cards. We're just going to go through one by one. I've already looked at the grades, so this is not a surprise to me. So we'll start off with this Kyler Murray Premier Silver, and I'll move these cards out of the way. You can take a look at this. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, this was actually a Starstock A card. So Starstock believed that this card would grade a PSA 9 or PSA 10. Unfortunately, PSA shut down, as everyone knows. 
And so what we did was we sent this card home from Starstock and had it graded with HGA. And it came back in HGA 7.5. And you can see why horribly off-centered. And the centering got a 6.5. So, you know, when my brother got this card back, he was like, I really missed this one. And at first I thought, wow, how did he miss this so bad? But one of the things that I noticed is most of these cards are off-centered. And I don't even... I think there's only 13 PSA 10s in existence. So these cards were just horribly cut. And unfortunately, it cost us uh, on the grading process. Had we known this, we probably wouldn't have even bought these cards to send them in for grading because that's just a losing venture. There are other cards like that. Um, a couple of cards that I can think of are Patrick Mahomes, rookie, which his prism silver has a known blemish on it. Most, most copies have this blemish which prevents it from getting a PSA 10. So there's an unusually high number of PSA 9s out there. Probably not a good card to buy raw and send into grade. Another one is also a Kyler Murray Optic, which seems to gem at a very low rate. So unfortunately, we got burned twice here. We sent in two of these Kyler Murrays, and uh, this one at least got an 8.5. The centering got a 7.5, and otherwise you could see the sub scores were not that bad. Uh, surface 9.5, corners and edges 9.0, overall an 8.5. But to be honest, I mean, both of these cards are probably better off raw. And I looked up the raw comps. And unfortunately, the raw comps on these cards were about $25. That is brutal. Uh, we paid probably over $200 for each of these cards. Bottom at the peak, Kyler Murray was one of the hottest quarterbacks in the NFL at one time. And he really uh, fell off in the second half of the season, like he always does. So I don't know. We may have learned our lesson from that. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm sure he'll start off hot again. He actually had some decent numbers holding the Stefan Diggs. But let me take a look at Kyler Murray's numbers. Um, he finished with a 69.2% completion rate, 3,787 yards, 24 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Not a bad season, not bad statistics, but again, he was hot at the beginning, cooled off dramatically. This is the second year in a row this has happened. I honestly feel like he's kind of fool's gold. Uh, we might see the same thing next year where he starts off hot. People get excited, buy his cards. Uh, they see a spike, and then uh, we, we see the results at the end of the year. But, you know, you never know. He might figure some things out. Sent this Stefan Diggs. Now, here's another card that just plummeted. Uh, I looked up Stefan Dick's statistics and he actually had a good year. So it's surprising to me that this card went down so much in value. So I looked up a PSA 9 and that sells for $45 currently. This is an HGA 9. Uh, so, I mean, it might sell for a little bit less than 45, but uh, not, not much. Uh, in any case, we're going to hold on to those cards. But I wanted to point out Dick's statistics. He caught for 1,225 yards, 10 touchdowns. And the pop count, the PSA pop count on these cards, super low. A PSA 9 is only a pop 30. A PSA 10 is only pop 19. So what that tells me is that these cards were, were low. There's a low print run on these cards. And that's really what you're looking for. When you look at pop count, you kind of want to gauge, are, are there a bunch of raw cards out there waiting to be graded? Or were these cards just not you know highly printed? And this was 2015 was his rookie year where there was not high print runs that we see today it was also a silver so we can see that's a pretty rare card and honestly i think it's a good buy i mean stefan diggs is one of the best receivers in the league still he's on the bills one of the best teams in the league and uh for some reason just really overlooked this this year so it might be a good buying opportunity for stefan diggs this was a nice juan soto and this is at least a little bit refreshing unfortunately it got an hga9 and you can see here the sub scores it got a 10 centering though. And as you guys know, I really like well-centered cards. So this is actually a really good nine in my opinion, because at least it got the 10 centering. Only paid $25 for the card raw and uh, paid the $45 for grading. Raw, it sells for, it's been selling for a little bit over $100. Uh, so, and I think a CSG sold for, for less than 150. So probably I would guess that this card is maybe 125 right now. But uh, it's another one I would hold. I think that once it's decided that the baseball season or when we know the baseball season is going to start on time or if there's a delay, I think the interest in Juan Soto's cards will come back. It seems to have died off a little bit. 
So this one also, Cooper Cup, one of the hottest cards in the, on the market right now. And uh, this just missed a gem, uh, you know, an HGA gem mint. Uh, you could see here two 9.5s and two 9.0s, 9.0 on the corners, 9.0 on the edges. Usually the corners and edges on these 2017 optics are tough. So let's take a look. Uh, and I know this wasn't one of the better copies of this card. I did send two more into HGA for grading, and I sent those uh, snail mail. I sent them on the 60-day order, so uh, we'll get those back probably around the summer. Hopefully, there's still some hype or maybe the preseason hype for Cooper Cup for next season. But anyway, I bought this card for $20 on Starstock. This was a Starstock A, paid $45 to get it graded. Got an offer on eBay for $150, but we turned it down. We have it listed on eBay right now for $199. It just looks really nice in this HGA slab, and, I really, and it's so close to an HGA 9.5. I didn't want to give it away for $150, so I decided to hang on to it. But that was a nice return. Last card, this was a small order, six card order. This was a card that I pulled in a pack back in 2008. I bought a couple of boxes of 05 Tops football cards and got an Aaron Rodgers. This one did gem, so it was 9.5 gem mint. It's a min gem. You can see the centering is a 9.0, and a lot of times these cards are not well centered, these 05 Tops, the Aaron Rodgers rookie cards, but I really like that splash. Kind of looks like that color blast. I mentioned it before on the label. And I think overall, it just it just looks really cool in an HGA slab. I looked up recent comps and there was one that sold for $500 about a month ago. This is a four time MVP. I like the card in the slab. Again, I pulled it out of a pack, paid 45 to get it graded. So we're into it very low. And I lowered the price on eBay to 500 just to try to move it. So we'll see if that happens. But if not, I'm happy to hold. Aaron Rodgers may come back, maybe on the Broncos. He may come back with the Packers. I think either way, uh, there will be some hype for him again. He's still playing. He's still uh, playing at a very high level, obviously. So I'm happy to hold. Or if somebody wants to buy it for 500 bucks, it is on eBay right now. Finally, I wanted to add a bonus card. This card was not in the order, but I picked this card up at a card show. And I'm not sure if I showed it on a previous video, but this is a Kobe Bryant Upper Deck Hardwood Prospects. And I just thought it looked really cool in this custom HGA lab label. I picked it up when I was a dealer at a card show in the Bay Area and somebody brought it up and it, look, it has three tens. I thought that was so cool. Unfortunately, the nine is the centering, uh, but it three ten scores, one nine. It just looks incredible. And I uh, traded some cards for it. I don't, I don't remember exactly what we traded, but we traded about probably about $400 worth of cards. So the value we gave this card was $400. I think it might go for a little bit less now, at least a PSA 10. Uh, but in any case, a really nice card. And I honestly do not want to move it. I mean, this is one I truly want to keep for my PC. So just wanted to show that off as well. Uh, we have some new cards in the background here. We've got that Tatum Courtside. I think it's second or third year, a Will Smith refractor rookie and the DeMar DeRozan one of the hottest NBA players I got a, a few of his tops uh, deciding whether to sell them now or hold till the playoffs that's always the question thanks again for tuning in on the next video I will try to get the prize and and I'll go ahead and, and decide how we're going to go ahead and give that away but that is on that is on the table so I, I haven't forgotten about it I appreciate everyone watching subscribing like the video if you liked it and I will see you on the next one